Hi everybody, this is Charlie Turner. I'm delighted to be here to clay and play with you and I'm going to do this and dedicate this little quick video to my friends at the 52 Weekly Cane Project on Facebook and what I'm trying to show you here, let's see if I can add a little bit of light and give you a better view. Okay, my Skinner blends don't look right, you might say to yourself. On this side, this particular Skinner blend, if you look at it, you can see where the graduation goes from one end to the other, from the dark to the, to the yellow, and it's got like a curvy, swirly look to it. So what's really going on here is you're not getting the Skinner blend the way that you want it. And the way that I we want the Skinner blend to look is this one where you don't really see any of the wavy curvy lines or the separation between the colors you want it to go totally from yellow in the center all the way to the green. Now you're going to say to yourself, how the heck do you do that? What did I do wrong? Well, you didn't do a darn thing wrong. Nothing. Most people, most videos, and most things that you see show you this is your Skinner blend. Ah, you did a great job. You got your light and your dark. Now in this one I didn't go super dark on this end, which could have, I could have done like this one. Where this one's really dark, this one hasn't been mixed up yet, as you can see. But, so how do you do that? How do you go from the swirly to the really nice blend? This is going to shock you maybe, or it's going to just seem like, oh my goodness, I should have thought of that. Here's my blend. You're going to hold it from the top edge, and all you're going to do and I'm going to try to do this and look over the camera while I'm doing it, is fold it. That's right, girls and boys, just fold it in half. So right now, this has been blended on a one setting, my first setting on my pasta machine, and I'm going to put it together just like this. And granted, I didn't get that edge quite the, together, but, you know, it really doesn't matter. And up here in the fold, I'm just pushing out the air as best I can. Now. As you can tell, when I work, I get clay all over my fingernails, so forgive my messy fingers. So now I'm going to turn it over to the pasta machine for a second. So get ready. The camera's going to swing weird. And you saw what I did. I just folded it in half. So the yellow is matching the yellow, and the dark is matching the dark. Then you're going to put it through the pasta machine like this. This is the white, or this is number one setting. Okay, guys? Number one setting. So I'm going to run that through the pasta machine. I have not changed the setting it was on when I ran it through. Hang on. Let's see if we can do this. You want to hold on to it as you're getting it through. Now, of course, the setting I just looked at wasn't the one that I needed, but we're going to put it through anyways. I fixed it. And yes, we all make mistakes. I did manage to squish it on the bottom, but you know what? I don't care. So there's my first setting. Now, I'm going to back it off. You can see how long this is. If I had my ruler out, that's a good 12 inches long. That's okay. So what do you do to get your blends, you might think. Now this is a little thin, but that's okay. I can do one of two things. I can cut it off. I can actually fold it right back up on itself, and that color is going to stay pretty consistent And run it when I run it back through, so it's not really an issue. Just like that. Remember, clay is pretty forgiving. Next step, you're going to run it through the pasta machine. Are you ready? on your probably number two setting, three, four, and as long as you can get it through the machine without scrunching it, you know, breaking it apart, you can roll it all the way up to the setting number five. So what I'm going to do is right now I'm going to quickly roll this through my number three setting. I'm going to skip number two. And i got to hang on to it so it doesn't go anywhere. I know it got really quiet. Hang on, guys, it's coming. And now, as I back that baby off, I've got probably 18 or more inches there. What you're going to do at this stage of the game, because it's a pain in the neck to try to get it through the pasta machine, is you're going to handy dandily cut it. That's right, cut it in half. Remembering you've got the darker side. So now I have two pieces. And I know this is the middle side because my yellow side is here on the end. And then I'm going to put it on my four. And get it through the pasta machine on my four again. I'm trying to keep my hands on this so it don't so it doesn't buckle or miss get misshapen. 
And here it comes at you. 